What's up Average Dad fans, welcome back to another video and today I am unboxing and reviewing slash first impressions of the Apple AirPods Pro. I am a year late, I know, however there's context and reasoning behind it. A year ago I had the choice to purchase the Powerbeats Pro or the AirPods Pro. I went for the Powerbeats Pro purely because my use case scenario was working out, running and gym. I was slightly concerned that the AirPods Pro would fall out because um, they don't have the over the ear tip. So I didn't buy them. But a year on, I've bought them. So stay tuned to hear my thoughts, opinions, current pricing on Amazon and can I recommend the AirPods Pro in May of 2021? Let's find out. The AirPods Pro 2020, um, what are they like? Well, first things first, I want to get the price out of the way, so view duration is not going to go high because you're not waiting to hear what great deal you can get. I'm just going to tell you straight off the bat. The AirPods Pro, you can pick up for £180 on Amazon right now, link in description. Hence why I purchased them. I have the Powerbeats Pro as I mentioned for the gym, I have the AirPods Max for everything else to be honest and working from home, Teams calls, Zoom calls, consuming media, but me being a complete tech geek, what I don't have is a more comfortable in-house earbud. Yeah, that sounds so stupid and I know how it sounds. But essentially, what I want is, I know when I'm wearing the Powerbeats Pro, even in the house, because the ear tip after 30, 40 minutes, you, you do know it's sore there, and it does, it's not that like it cuts into the top of your ear, you, do, you just know it's kind of always there. While a good fit, while sounding really good, I know it's there. So, I wanted to get another set of earbuds, Pro, earbuds and the Air, uh, AirPods were the only way I was going to go. And the fact that they were on Amazon for £70 off the retail price that Apple have them at, it was it was a no-brainer. So you can see from the unboxing, it's an Apple product. It's a nice white box. The product is premium. You obviously get the charging case, which is in its, it's like a squished AirPods case, or if you like, it's an AirPods case turned like landscape rather than portrait that that's kind of what you get you get obviously the, the earbuds themselves you get a USB-C to lighten and charging cable and a manual no Apple troll stickers and obviously no oh sorry you do get uh, small medium and large ear tips the proprietary ear tips you get the mediums already attached and the small and large um, you can choose to add them on later if they're not a good fit. For me, the medium are um, a perfect fit. So just give you an idea what they kind of look like on the ear. There we are, so very comfortable. Obviously, like you, you don't know you're wearing them after like a minute or so, you just you kind of forget. So I was playing poker last night for a few hours, had these in on a WhatsApp call the whole time didn't even realise it was there. As far as buds go, noise cancellation, really good. And that's a feature I want to talk about. So first things first, straight out of the bat, the, the, the active noise cancellation on the AirPods Pro is, is pretty damn good for a set of earbuds. Now you can see, I'm going to try and put screenshots all around of all the previous videos I've done, but I've had the, the Sony WF-1000XM3 wireless buds, I've had the Surface buds, I've had the Powerbeats Pro, I've had Galaxy buds, I've had numerous buds, and the one downside has always kind of been that active noise cancellation, 
apart from on the Sonys. The Sonys are really good with the noise cancellation, but in fact, the Sonys are now the same price, if not more expensive on some websites than that £180 that Apple are charging for the AirPods Pro. They've also got the ambient mode, which again, press of a button and you hear everything around you. Because they've got microphones, it's actually like, I've mentioned this before, but it's like daredevil sound, hearing in that it actually enhances things around you. So if somebody's speaking, when you've got the noise cancellation and you hit the ambient sound, you actually hear more. So for some people, that, that, that's quite a good feature. It has the W1 chip. I mean, this is its biggest selling point. While this phone, phone? While this headphone will work with an Android phone, it's designed for Apple. With that W1 chip, you're getting seamless pairing straight out of the box. I mean, you can see here, as soon as you flick open that lid, the pairing process starts, hit connect on the iPhone, within four or five seconds, you're connected. And that's it forevermore. As soon as you pop the earbuds in, they connect straight to your phone or your iPad or the iMac, whatever, or sorry, Mac Mini, I've got rid of my iMac. Bye iMac. Mac Mini, connect seamlessly. Again, awesome. Design, I love the design. These, obviously the box itself, has an LED indicator to let you know when it's charging or if it's running out of charge. It's got the lightning port on the bottom. It's a nice white case, which you can get third party silicone protectors for if you like. The buds themselves are a good size, so they're certainly not too big. Great. Um, they've got that pass through. So this, this bit here is actually a pass through. So essentially what happens with, with buds, as soon as you put them in the ear and you close that canal off, there's a buildup of air and the, the pressure in your ear that comes from that while small, after a period of time you notice it and it can start to hurt people. Because there's that pass through built into each bud left and right, hence that's the reason why you, you don't really feel these um, ear pods in your ear after a certain amount of time. They've also got the silicon tips. Again, another big step forward as far as um, AirPods. I know having used the AirPods 2, those plastic with the long stem, the like abnormally long stems that come from them, they um, not hurt. I mean, I don't want to sound too weak here, but you know they're in there and they're they're not comfortable. I, I would certainly say that. Uh, again, I just want to quickly show you again, as far as aesthetic, they have a small stem, but that works. Now the stem itself is very important because it is how you activate the functions. So if you hold the stem or squeeze the stem once, it'll play in pause. If you Double squeeze, you're going to skip forward a track, and if you triple squeeze, you can go back. And in the left ear bud, if you squeeze, that's how you can activate the ambient or noise cancelling. Super easy. Take an ear bud out, it'll automatically pause. Pop that ear bud in the case and squeeze the one that's remaining, you can still play. So even if you've got one ear bud completely out of battery, you can still listen with the other one. The benefit of that being, obviously you can still consume content, but it means that you can pop the other one in the charging case. And, and genuinely, if you pop the earbud in the charging case for three minutes, you're gonna get 45, 50 minutes worth out of just a three minute charge. But ideally, charge it for 15 minutes, you get three, four hours. Um, now, off a full charge, say an hour, you're gonna get claimed five hours of battery life without active noise cancellation, four and a half hours with noise cancellation on. As I mentioned last night, I was playing poker for a few hours and that's what I got. I got that with, with ease, to be honest. So yeah, super impressed with that. So we've covered price, design, the functionality. Again, works with Android. Don't know anybody, I'm sure you will. Maybe you're one of these people that has an Android phone and bought the AirPods Pro. I don't know, but more power to you. 
We've discussed functionality. There's obviously fine mag buds as well, which again, that's, that's a big thing um, nowadays with the air tags having just been released. Having the ability to find your AirPods is important, especially if you paid £250 or £180. So, so far, so good. I am obviously keeping these. These will probably be my Friday night poker earphones. That sounds so crass. I will find other uses for them. Maybe commuting, to be honest, when I have to go back to work, so I work in the centre of town, when I have to start commuting again, maybe I don't want to wear the AirPods Max because that just looks a bit too showy outside and I don't know if I want to take £550 over your headphones to and from work every day. Um, so actually these might be my commuting ones. They will not be my gym ones unless as a backup. The Powerbeats Pro will still always be my gym ones. I just have utter confidence in them. I should mention as well, these are IPX4, so like sweat resistant. If it's pissing down with rain, don't wear these. Whereas the Powerbeats Pro have wore them in the pouring rain and they're absolutely fine. I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, if you are in the market for a new pair of AirPods, hold off because the AirPods Pro 2s are going to be out probably very soon. My hunch is WWDC, they'll get announced, so June, for sale at the end of June, but they will be expensive, at least £250. If you're looking for the AirPods Pro Originals, only a year old, £180, new from Amazon, link in description. If you like this video, like. If you want to see more content from me, hit subscribe, ding that notification ball, bell. Thank you so much for watching. I've been The Average Dad, and as always, if I can do it, you can do it. That's the message. Six months ago I started, we're a thousand subscribers in. Take care and peace.